Hey guys, good morning, it's me, Dr. Katz. Today we're gonna to talk about how to make tumescent anesthesia. So tumescent anesthesia is anesthesia that we can inject directly into the skin, which is handy for all kinds of office procedures. I use it the most for our in-office labioplasty procedures, and it works marvelously. There's not a whole lot that you need, so let's get started. First, you need lactated ringers, you need sodium bicarb, that's this stuff here. You need lidocaine. And you need epinephrine. Let's grab that here. These little ampules. You need one and a half of these. You need one and a half of these. You only need one of these. See? Handy. Make sure you note for the lidocaine, you need 2% lidocaine in the 50 ml bottles. And then my favorite syringes and needles of choice to put this all together is a 30 ml BD syringe and an 18 gauge needle because it just makes life easier as far as drawing stuff off and spitting it back out. Sorry, make sure you can see that, 18. Okay, so first, the kind of anesthesia that we're making is going to give us a 0.1% lidocaine concentration, which means that the maximum recommended volume that you can put in an average 70 kilogram and or 150 pound patient is up to 2,450 mLs. I never use nearly that much. I tend to use at most 120 mLs. So I know right off the bat, I'm not gonna over anesthetize the patient or go over the limit. But that's the concentration you're working for, a 0.1% lidocaine concentration. So what do we do first? So we open up our bag of lactated ringers, right? And then you take your 30 ml syringe and your 18 gauge, and you're gonna go right through the nipple here, and you're gonna draw off 65 mLs of the lactated ringers and get rid of it. Now in its place then, you're gonna put 50 ml, so that's just one bottle, of the lidocaine, again, injecting it right in here through the nipple. Then you're gonna put in 15 mLs of the bicarb. That's one and a half of these. So as you can see, this is a little weird, right? You're gonna take this cap off, you're gonna take this off, and you're gonna screw this right in here, just like a vacutainer. Then you're gonna take this tip and the green thing off, and you're gonna literally attach that again right through the nipple. The two guards will kind of fit around the nipple, and you just inject that 15 mLs in. Last but not least, you're gonna put 1.5 mLs of the epinephrine. So see this little line kind of right between the neck of the bottle and the body? You're gonna snap using your thumbs outwards to break that and draw off that one mLs. And then you're gonna to have to snap a second one and draw up only half of that. And again, inject it right in your bag. Swish it all up. And then voila, you've got your domestic anesthesia already, already made. What I like to do is then pre-draw off how much anesthesia I think I'm gonna use into my 30 ml syringes and put it on my sterile tray so that I've already got it so I don't have to go back and draw as I go. I tend to, for an average labiaplasty procedure, use five to six syringes, so 120 to 150 mLs, which is far below the 2,450 ml maximum. So there's your easy to mess in anesthesia. If you have any questions, you can always email me at laurakdoc at hotmail.com or reach out to me through my Facebook at laurakotsmdpc. Have a great day.